for the adrenal glands as well. The mineral zinc is very important for the adrenal glands, making sure he's using uh, 50 milligrams a day of uh, zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E. Vitamin C is also super important for the adrenal glands. And the B complex is very important for the adrenal glands, particularly vitamin B5 and vitamin B12. In fact, I would be getting vitamin B12 shots if I were him, uh, intramuscular vitamin B12 shots, because chances are he's not gonna be absorbing his vitamin B12. Now, if he has a thyroid problem, by definition, or hypothyroid problem, or any thyroid problem really, by definition, he has a digestive problem because the thyroid regulates the digestive system. Oftentimes, however, uh, digestive issues precede thyroid problems. They're a cause of thyroid problems, especially in the case of autoimmunity, like Hashimoto's or Graves' disease. So working on digestive health is also very important. Uh, he's got to be constipated if he's got that uh, significant thyroid problem. So that can compound, compound problems compound the issue. So what you want to start doing is a food diary, keeping track of foods that cause any kind of digestive issue, and then eliminating those foods. Also, uh, blood sugar spikes, problems with blood sugar. And he, does he have weight issues? Is he gaining weight inappropriately? No, he actually was attempting to, you know, gain muscle and work out. He was working out a lot. He, does, um, he doesn't have a belly going on? He does have a little pot belly, but it's okay. cute. Okay, well, I'm not, no, I'm, not, I'm not ripping on him. I'm just trying to get a picture of what's happening in his body. That's a sign that there, a potential sign anyway, that the blood sugar could be thrown off, and it's very typical. You'll notice people are lean and mean until they're about 28 or 29, and then all of a sudden they get a little pooch, not... Right? That's a sign that blood sugar Correct. is starting to get thrown off. So uh, start to focus on blood sugar by using more protein, more coconut oil, and good fat, egg, uh, butter fat, egg fat, dairy fat and uh, good avocados, good fat, uh, and then protein. Both of those will help him wean off the sugar, especially a protein called glutamine. Glutamine, uh, uh, glutamine powder, maybe a teaspoon or so of glutamine powder every day. Last but not least, the Z radical can be helpful for all, just as a general tonic, but especially for circulatory health issues if he has any of those. And then, of course, the ultimate enzymes taken with all the meals. Healthy Star Pack, that goes without saying. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, have him sip it on, sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day. Not one big scoop or two big scoops, but a teaspoon or so in water and have him sip on it all day. So you got lots of action steps there, ma'am. Start off with the iodine, then work to the adrenal glands with zinc and vitamin C and deep breathing techniques and relaxation techniques. Make sure he's working on digestive health by eliminating problem foods. I forgot to mention probiotics and fermented foods. Those can be very helpful for intestinal health. And by the way, for you guys out there, not necessarily for, for Shema, but for other folks out there, if you have a thyroid problem, you should know that thyroid hormone is activated in the intestine by probiotics, by good bacteria. So if you have an intestinal problem, is, the odds are pretty good that you're going to have a thyroid problem too. I'm not sure necessarily this was relevant for your husband, but people, for folks listening who may be hypothyroid, recognize, please recognize that good bacteria in the gut are important for, for thyroid health. But it, as a general strategy, that might be something that he wants to consider. And then last but not least, stabilizing the blood sugar by avoiding foods that spike blood sugar, bread, pasta, cereals, etc. Getting on the healthy start pack, using the sweeties and then the zero radical, the Fucoid Z, will also help him with, uh, uh, help him a little bit with his blood sugar, too. All right, you got lots of steps there. I hope that helps, ma'am. Get him on the iota yes, roll today. And I, yes, yes cool. and I know you have to move on to someone else, but quickly, do you do private consultations, you wanted to know? Yeah, you can call me. Send me an email. Send an email with your phone number. Uh, on uh, to Ben, B-E-N, at K-S-C-O dot com. Put your phone number on there, and we'll, we'll probably play a little phone tag. I'll call you. You'll call me. We'll do it a few times. That's usually what happens, but we'll hook up on the phone, and I'm glad to help. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Good luck God with bless. everything. All right. Greg in Texas. What's cooking? Welcome to the Bright Side. Do we have Greg? Let's see. Greg? Greg? Hello, Greg. Uh, Greg, I think we may... Greg may have gone away from his phone. Yes, Greg? All right, we'll put Greg. Ah, that's it. All right, I'm going to let Greg go. Sorry, Greg, call back. I don't know what happened to you, my man. Greg? Now we're going to let Greg go. All right, well, that's all the calls we have. So I want to talk about a couple more things because I've been getting these letters. Some of you may have heard me on... Uh, on Coast to Coast, and some of you, some of the listeners, some of our new listeners may have heard us on Coast to Coast, and I'm getting a lot of letters from folks who don't necessarily understand some of the basics about what I call the bright side philosophy. There's a lot of basics. There's a lot of pillars 
philosophical pillars to what I call the bright side philosophy. But the main thing that I want to talk about is this idea of degeneration, that the body breaks down. When we have a degenerative disease, the body breaks down in a generic sense. And it doesn't matter where the breakdown is occurring. Yesterday I did a, a YouTube video for criticalhealthnews.com on Alzheimer's disease. And I've been reading a lot about Alzheimer's disease. There was an article on CNN that came out last week about something called resveratrol for Alzheimer's disease. Resveratrol is a super powerful nutritional element, but now it's being touted as a way to prevent Alzheimer's disease or cure Alzheimer's disease or reverse or slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Nonsense. Hooey. That's not how you do it. Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative disease of the brain, and it's a generic disease in this sense. It's macular degeneration of the brain. And speaking of macular degeneration, there's an epidemic of that going on. We're falling apart, and we're falling apart in the macula level. We're falling apart at the brain level. We're falling apart at the joint level. We're falling apart everywhere. The body is falling apart, and it doesn't matter where. Our collective bodies are falling apart, and where it's falling apart doesn't matter when, you're coming, when it comes to reversing or when it comes to preventing, or when it comes to slowing down the progression. There's no special degenerative diseases. The only people who care about special degenerative diseases are specialists, because that's how they make their living. I'm telling you folks, if you have Alzheimer's disease, you treat it the same way you treat macular degeneration, you treat it the same way you treat arthritis, you treat it the same way you treat any degenerative disease, and there are hundreds of them. Chronic degenerative diseases account for 75% of our health care costs because we're all degenerating. We're all falling apart. Even cancer and heart disease are examples of degenerative diseases, the two leading causes of death. So if you have Alzheimer's disease, you don't take resveratrol to cure it. And if you have macular degeneration, you don't take lutein to cure it. And if you have arthritis, you don't take glucosamine to cure it. What you do is you reverse the degenerative process that's occurring in the body, and then the body does the curing. The divine force does the healing. Our object is to eliminate toxicity that comes in through the digestive system. That's where the food diary comes in. That's where fasting comes in. That's where intermittent fasting comes in and caloric restriction come in. You want the body to run cool just like you want your computer to run cool. Why do you think they put a fan in your hard drive? Because your computer has to run cool. Well, in chemistry or in, in food chemistry, the word for heat is calor, as in calories. Caloric restriction is like a fan for your, for your body's chemistry. And then you stabilize the blood sugar. Sugar also represents heat, so keeping your sugar down. And then you calm the body down, which again, cools the body down. You make sure you're on your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, of course. You take your Healthy Star Pack, of course. Support digestive health and, and with probiotics and good bacteria and fermented foods. And then the body does the healing work itself. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Tomorrow we'll talk about the spiritual relationship between hormone health and between hormones and good health. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, of course, go to truthtreatments.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.